Black Swan, The Twelve Lessons of Abandonment Recovery by Susan Anderson. Lesson two. The day finally comes when the woman is supposed to take the little girl. There is a knot in her stomach as she waits. It is hard. She is waiting. She hurts inside, her body from all of the waiting. She is afraid she will never see the woman again, that she is never coming back, that she will never see the black swan again. She places her hands over her heart and closes her eyes in hopes. And then a warm and gentle feeling comes with the flowing of soft skirts and she feels the knot in her stomach subside. She is taken by the hand and led once again out the big doors to the lawn and past the Canadian geese milling about the apple orchard, pecking through the remains of snow. Come with me, precious one says the woman with soft, watery eyes and flowing skirts that flutter softly against her. They continue their walk hand in hand across the meadow and down the slope to the water. The black swan is there again, far out in the water, gliding toward the little girl. As he approaches, the other swans gracefully turn away, making room for him. With a gentle swoop of his long neck, he drifts through them and arrives at the shoreline. How are you today, Amanda? asks the swan. The little girl settles on the log beside the woman. She places her hands over her heart. That's right, Amanda. Go inside, says the swan. Find your sacred space so you can hear what I have to say. It still hurts inside, she says. Why did my daddy do this to me? She cries from her heart. It is good that you are finding your feelings. It is part of discovering your center. But I want my daddy, says the little girl. He is not here with you now, Amanda, and you feel the wound that he left. You do not have to let anyone into your center who brings bad feelings. You must push the person who has wounded you out of your center, Amanda. Push the wounder out so you can feel safe inside your sacred space. The little girl feels the woman's skirts flutter against her. She begins to burrow down within herself. But once again, she comes upon a strong feeling. Why must people be mean to me? She cries out. Tell them to stop hitting me and yelling at me. You can push those who wound you out, Amanda. Inside your special alone space, only you are in command. Push the wounders out. But how? Cries the little girl. All you need is your imagination to push them out. The space inside of you is sacred, safe and free. The little girl's hands are still resting on her heart, but she turns them so that her palms are facing outward. Push them out, Amanda, and imagine a place inside of you that is free of bad feelings. The little girl's palms begin pushing away from her chest. That's right, Amanda. Push the wounders out. Keep them out of your center and don't let them in. The little girl feels the woman's skirts blowing gently against her and smells her warmth as she pushes the palms of her hands away from her chest. You must practice this when the bad feelings come. Find the sacred space inside that is all yours and only yours and keep it safe. The little girl slowly opens her eyes as she hears the swan beginning to make his turn in the water. I will be here when you need me, he calls, swimming back out to 